Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. And you know anybody could be around. We outside. You see? I ain't say nothing about that man. You never know who might pop You tuned in. You tuned in. Yes, sir. All right, man. Take it easy. Yes, sir. I'm. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. We got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Salute to Rare Breed Entertainment, ARP, the city of Atlanta, for Divide and Conquer. I just uh, got back to the crib not too long ago. Salute to everybody who uh, tapped in, who saw me out there, who dapped me up, took a picture, whatever the case may be. Uh, I definitely do think that uh, it's good to get to a couple events every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Show love, show your face, things like that. You know, I know other guys would be like, they're scared, they can't go outside. Yeah, okay, it sounds good. Um, so you got Divide and Conquer, Rare Breed Entertainment. Uh, I wanna talk about these battles that I saw, you know what I'm saying? About this, about three battles in particular that I did peep. I did miss Coach Coleon versus B Magic. Uh, I was, Getting on my way there, you know, Atlanta, Atlanta. If you've been in Atlanta, bro, hold on, wait a minute, man. No, 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 no. Nobody told me. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm old. I, I be home, man. I ain't gonna lie. I be home. Like, I'm being around my kids. I be chilling. I don't like, y'all niggas can have the whole outside junction notion anyway. If you got time to be outside every week, more power to you. I don't have the time. I'm not doing it. This shit costs a lot of money. You gotta get a hotel, rent a car, plane ticket, all that shit costs money. And I do more views than the niggas who be there every week anyway. And I be home, so I'm gonna be home. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I get that motherfucker a look, and you better freeze like a motherfucker. Doing more views than me from the street, then I'll be back outside. But for that, I don't got it in me. But anyway. So, <laughs> it's the truth though, I do, I do, niggas be at every event, I do more views, what the fuck, I would be mad too, that's what, but for me, I'm just gonna chill, cause it, it's too much, like, it's too, too, too much, the airport takes two hours to get through in Atlanta. Atlanta's airport takes two hours to get through security, I'm not doing that to see an event, my nigga, like, that shit is crazy, and they're like, when you get TSA clear, TSA, bro, I don't be knowing about it, bro, I be home. I don't know about all this shit. I don't fly every week, my nigga. So I had to wait two hours and get another flight just to get back to the crib. That's why you're getting this video now. But uh, it was some very interesting battles on the card, man. Uh, of a few in particular. Rosenberg Raw versus Jag. QB versus Bad News. I mean, QB versus Caution and Bad News versus Pain. These are three battles on the card that I saw because I was looking for parking when I was when I was in deep in thought a few seconds ago. Uh, when I got there, I had to find, you know, I had to drive around a joint park and run back. So I missed Coach Coleone versus B Magic, which my partner Showtime SP told me he had as debatable. So I'll roll with his word for now until I see it because I didn't see it. Uh, bad news versus pain. Listen, bad news impressed me yesterday. Get a surgery, sarcastic. Wait, wait, wait. I see, I see niggas dying a slow death. This is making this a game, so I'm back snapping like chiropractors to get rid of pain. Oh, I deal with this shit every day. I'm talking this nigga name. He undefeated. All it takes is one L to make this nigga play. Oh, oh that was fire. It was yesterday, yesterday, day before yesterday, Saturday. Bad news impressed me Saturday. Um. He was like he's he's off the bags and bodies performance, you know he battled Snake Eyes on there. They had a whole recycling joint, uh, you know what I'm saying that 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 his opponent did. So he won that battle and now he's back. And I wanted to see if Bad News was going to be able to show me, not in particular, but show us as fans that he's ready for that next level. Like he's ready to you know because I've seen Bad News in a bunch of battles before. But a lot of them be against mid tiers. His top tier, biggest, best name performance is the Tay Rock joint. But unfortunately, it was just a one rounder. So, but it's fire. A million of you, one rounder. Like, don't get it fucked up. This is bad news here. Um, but yesterday, he really, really, he he impressed me because pain. I 
been around junkies. Oh. Hey, go. I, friends, uh. I really been around junkies. The white ones they have it. They a cop and then get you robbed. They hold life in a pipe and it's tragic. Mm. I seen the snake come out of Jay's way before you're fucking the man. Mm. The fans ask for this. Cause we both be mad and that's cool shit. Cause if those comparisons was annoying me or start causing inconvenience, y'all wouldn't have seen new sense. Look for me when I'm fine. Hey, Payne's rounds definitely had punches and they had some action in them. And I was like, if Bad News didn't bring anything but his A game, Payne was going to win this battle. Um, I got Bad News winning the battle clearly. 2-1 if not 3-0. He definitely got the... I got Bad News clearly getting the first and he got the third. Payne's second, you know what I'm saying, was fired too. But Bad News said, what is he said some shit in his third? Well, he said... My lawyer told me I could only get four to eight years. I thought I was running for president. I said, yo, what? When does this nigga start rapping? Why does start rapping like that? Bad news. You got a lot of work going. Uh, salute to RBE for having you on there and having you able to do your thing. Uh, I definitely, uh, I got a lot of love for what you did. Next, QB versus Caution. No, I gotta know. I gotta catch this moment. We need it, we need it. It's nasty work. I said I wasn't going to mention her name. Uh-huh. She's going to give me the worst in this account. You said you cook coke in the same bottles you made your baby bottles with? You didn't say anything. I'm concerned without a doubt. You know the bullets got no name. So if the kid's in the way, I'll take them out. Uh -huh. He had to hit me up about the recap. I'm doing it. Re I just got home. I just got home. My bad. My bad. My bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. I can't be outside and inside. The league inside's outside, but your outside's inside. You know what I mean? I, I can't do both. So, uh, listen. When I tell you, this version of QB right here was vintage. I was more surprised. I was more surprised in what I saw from QB than what I saw or did not see or whatever the case may be from Caution. I'm gonna say you like this, right? Um, salute to Caution. Uh, I'm just getting on to you not too long ago. She's very nice, first of all. Lyrically, she's nice as hell. She's got bars, she's got setups. They compare her in the same lane as the JCs, as the First Lady Flames in the, ex the excels, the lyrical, but still got some punchy, witty shit. Uh, she won Rookie of the Year on nothing but sports. Um, and she's good. She's a brick. She's been getting a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? But this is my first time really, really seeing her. i seen clips, but this is my first time actually being there for a whole battle and watching it round by round by round by round. And when I tell you, she's really, really got some slick wordplay and some good punches, setups. And I think that she definitely has a place moving forward. But QB, that's on Saturday? It was the essence. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, I, not, not that I couldn't believe it, because I know QB is good. See, uh, in Caution's first round, she came straight out and addressed the, uh, the, 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 the um, whole rape allegation thing. You know what I'm saying? What happened with QB. And I don't really know the schematics of it. But I got a lot of love for QB. And QB family fucks with me too. You know what I'm saying? I know her uncle or uh, cousin. And they, they really, really, they purchased my merch. They rock with me well. And I rock with her well. But I gave it to QB when I didn't feel like she was not performing at the level she should. Because that's the thing with me. I don't got a dick ride battle rappers to be cool or to get kudos or for people to, to, to accept me and shit like that. I don't got to do that. I don't got to be in the crew, I ain't got to be in the clique. I know when people used to say, ah, oh, this cave game, nigga, I'm not a member of a battle rap crew, first of all. Never have. That's my man, I rock with them, we good. I rock with a lot of battle rappers. But I ain't got to dick ride nobody. I can tell them when they lost, I can tell them they won, and I can go wherever the fuck I want. See, that's the difference. A lot of these niggas, they got to, they got to do chores. I ain't got to do chores for none of these niggas. So let's get back to it. So I told her when I didn't feel like she won, or she didn't have a good performance, or whatever case may be, I'll let her know. You know, she might not have felt it, but we good now. She had a great performance versus caution. A great performance. 
and I feel like she won. She might have got every round versus caution. If not, she definitely got two. Yo, she said that something like she like I never knew. She was like, uh, she's because when caution, she got personal. Caution got personal with her, and caution then she got personal with caution. Yo, she said she looked like Swave Sever if he had stage four cancer. Like, Hold on a minute, player. Nigga, why? What? When, when? When you get so disrespectful like this? Like that was one of the most disrespectful. Like what? She said she looks like Swave if he had cancer. Like this is some disrespect. That's how. They, but we know QB is the queen of disrespect. But it was so disrespectful. I felt offended by something that you told someone else. What kind of shit is it? I said, what is she doing? Why? I said, this is disrespectful. Y'all are so dead. But I'm standing here in the middle of this shit. But it's so disrespectful. So anyway, uh, she she then, uh, <laughs> she shot at her, like, who would hit this? God, she said, Caution had three kids. I didn't know. And she was like, imagine Caution going crazy on the dick. And the crowd was like, oh, was like, oh nigga, oh, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, QB did a motherfucking thing, man. I got QB winning that battle uh, pretty clearly. Uh... Frozenberg Raw versus Jag. Salute to Frozenberg Raw. Uh, I've been to Frozenberg's last two battles. I've seen him versus Bill. And now I've seen him again versus Jag. I must say in this battle, uh, and this is a battle that uh, myself, Three Letterman, Mickey Fax, he called us all up there. He wanted, you know, media and things like that to be up there. And, you know, I was up there for that battle on the live stream, mama. But, uh, you know, I will say this. Levels, levels, levels. Uh, Jag was very good in this battle. Like, he had the pockets of flows. Uh, he's getting real battle rappy now. Like, he's able to stick with this level of battle rap. When he first came on the RBE, I didn't know if he was going to be able to maintain. Like, I was like, yo, he might, he might not, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's rappery, he's real rapperish. Um, but he's battle rapping now, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he was like, uh, in a battle with Jag, I mean, I would show off. I'm on a big block with big blocks, big rocks posting. And I will smack show like Chris Rock hosting. Like, that's battle rap style. He's been doing that. And uh, this was a, not a, a really big grudge, but they had a lot of a lot of things that you could compare. Like, Rosenberg got a street style. Uh, Jag got a street style. Rosenberg is from PA, Philly, F Philadelphia, PA. I don't do the whole... Well, this person's from this state, I mean, from this area, and it's five minutes outside of Pete. Man, I, I consider every one of you niggas from Philly. That's, I mean, you want to know what New York nigga do? New York nigga consider every one of you niggas from Philly. I'm not doing He's from Norristown. He's from here. I don't get niggas. Bill Collector, all easy, all you niggas from Philly, man. That's how I consider it. It's too much for us. We not doing the, he's from that area, they from this. I don't care. Philly is Rosenberg Raw, period, right? So, Rosenberg Raw. Uh, he comes into this battle battling against a chat. Like experience, that's first and foremost, experience. Rosenberg Raw been doing this for quite some time. Uh, Jag, while though he does have a street style, Rosenberg Raw battles a lot of street style battle rappers. He's battled the Rexes, he's battled the Snake Eyes, he's battled a lot of the guys that spit the same street style. Um, in this battle, I have Rosenberg Raw winning, 2-1. Uh, I did have Rosenberg Raw win. He, it might be broken down like when I watched it again because I did watch this again on the plane and um, I did feel like Frozen's third was a clear. The first is probably the closest and the second where I got Frozenberg winning. I do have Rosenberg winning Raw winning in the battle though and I'm going to say he was like uh, he said <laughs> he said uh, I was on the end of the he don't control no damn blocks. He too focused talking about on what another man got. I was on live, he said, say blood, what kind of car you drive? The one with two fully loaded weapons, safety off inside. <laughs> The one with two safeties off, semi-auto inside. Like, yo, this nigga Frozenberg was wildin', bro. Like, he, 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 oh, man. Like, that's the style that he's gonna continue to progress and continue, like, when he brings it like that, straight, uncut, raw, pun intended, uh, when he brings it like that, he's gonna be very hard to beat because he can take it to the highest level of the street style and you're gonna be getting to that level or climbing that level of the street, 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 and raw, like, what did it, yo, he said another line. 
Bro, froze, froze, froze. And you know, I've been at his last two battles. You know, I know they say niggas don't go outside, but nigga, I've been at his last two joints. Ask him who else was there. I've been there. Okay, so um he said, uh <laughs> he said, uh, my mom is white, but my dad is black, so is this clock. <laughs> what? Yo, like, leave froze alone, bro. Like he he he's gonna be able to. To keep going at this high level. And he beat Ill Will. Like, Ill Will just had a crazy battle with, uh, with Hollow the Don. And for Froze beat him. I don't care what version it is. Y'all could say, oh, he wasn't in his A game that night, bro. I don't care what version it is. He won. Uh, and Frozen won again. Uh, overall, uh, very, 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 very solid event. All of the battles I did see were good. I did miss a couple. Um, and I did, you know what I'm saying, like, because when you deal with battle rap events, and I'll just talk about um, battle rap, and uh, I'll talk about Rare Breed and some couple other things right now. Uh, and I'll talk about Kyrie Irving leaving Brooklyn or whatever the case may be. I know a lot of y'all go, Kyrie's gone, Kyrie's gone. Uh, I'll just, this is my thought, right? Uh, while Kyrie is a phenomenal talent and he's able to do things at a high level, he's just never available. I'm be honest, in Brooklyn, he was there four years and he missed more than half the games. He was never available. I don't ever really think he bought in. I thought Kevin Durant bought into him way more than he ever bought in. He kind of sold Kevin Durant a lemon. Uh, Kevin Durant was already in a good situation. And then he goes to, to, to teams up with this guy. And, you know, the first year he's injured. The next year he's got this going on. Then, you know, he, he missed games because of, the, you know, and the COVID came. He wouldn't get the vaccine. Whatever your opinion is, that's your opinion. Uh, he wouldn't get the vaccine. So he misses half the season, comes back, gets swept. Uh, next season comes in, tweets this book link gets seen deemed anti-Semitic and he's got to go through all of this crazy stuff. He never was there. And he put together a good two-month stretch when Kevin Durant, you know what I'm saying, him and KD put together a good stretch and then KD got hurt and he put together a good eight weeks and he felt like he needed a new deal worth 200 million and he wanted his money. Am I mad at him for wanting his money? No. And at the same time, in four years, you were never available and to think that you deserved a new contract which would pay you another 200 million to do the shit you just didn't do. I understand why after a while you just gotta throw your hands up. You know, they were offered Chris Paul, they were offered Russell Westbrook, they were offered Spencer Dinwiddie. At this point, Spencer Dinwiddie is probably the best out of those three players. Like, Russell Westbrook is not good. Chris Paul is aging and he'll be damn near 40 when his contract is over. And Spencer Dinwiddie has got the best upside out of a lot of these guys, you know what I'm saying? Dorian Finney-Smith is a good defender. And I know y'all saying, oh, you're not gonna get what y'all heard for Kyrie. Bro, you never, whenever you're trading something or giving something away in life, you're never gonna get equal value. That's first of all. Go try to sell your car today at the dealership and then see if you're going to get equal value. You're never going to get equal value. You know you're taking a loss because you're trying to get rid of something. Uh, I don't think, I think Kevin Durant was more of a friend to Kyrie than Kyrie was to him because there was, I, I don't recall one scenario where Kyrie Irving went out his way for KD. You know what I'm saying? Like he just wouldn't do it. He said that was my best friend and that's how he did him. He's going, to, he's going and, but I thought Dallas gave away a little too much for somebody that could walk in three months. Like, he can literally walk away in three months and go sign with LeBron, who will be damn near 40, and uh, he can go there. But they gave away too much. A first-round draft pick, Dorian Finney, and Spencer Dinway, I, I don't know. But like I said, I don't get emotionally wrapped up in it too much because I'm not an athlete. I mean, I have an opinion, and I watch sports and shit like that. But... Like, you get mad, like, how can I get mad about somebody who was never really available anyway? When he was there, he did a great job, but he was never there. So, um, back to Rare Breed, uh, I think they got a lot of good things going on down there. Uh, it, it, it was definitely a vibe, it was a good venue, uh, it was a studio, the blue lights and all that shit was good. Uh, it was no issue getting in. Name is on the list, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta do a whole bunch of media tricks and hoopla and ass kissing to be on the list, you just, say who you are and he puts you down because you do what you do and he appreciates what you bring to the to the culture you know what i'm saying and he definitely showed a lot of love uh salute to all the battle rappers the ones that i did see and the ones that i really didn't you know what i'm saying get to speak to a shit like that because i'm like this right i don't run up on niggas like i ain't no run up on niggas type of person like i'm sorry it doesn't matter who you are i'm not when we left uh the, the venue, we went to a Waffle House that was not too far away, you know, a local greasy delicacy. And when we got there, Hitman was there. 
It was just him and a couple of his guys, but I didn't run up on him, you know what I'm saying? We never had a conversation before. Like, I know he knows who I am, I know who he is, but we, I didn't run up on him. So we're chilling, and uh, you know, it, it's a straight shot down, right? Straight out. So my man went to the bathroom, and he saw Hitman, he spoke to him, whatever the case may be. And his son was there too, so his son, you know, he's a young kid, he's a younger kid, you know, kids see people like that, they get a picture or whatever. Like we, so we had a good, we really had a good conversation about battle rap, and I told him that when it comes to the blogging shit, I don't respect when people talk about like personal shit, like they family and situations and the shit that happened with his girl, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't think none of that shit was groovy. But um, I did see him, you know what I'm saying? And it was good, it was good love. And uh, just Atlanta in general, man, it was a great scenario, man. Just being able to be in the area, being able to show love and being able to get love in return, man. Um, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment.